What's up everyone? Emeron here. May June roundup. Didn't really get to do a May roundup because things picked up at the end of the month. So I'm gonna do double whammy today of May and June and it's of May. Uh, obviously Mother's Day where Stephanie got to take her out and uh, Mel got to spend time with her. No! You're lucky because it's Mother's Day. I won both times. I, was, I, was, I played nice today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next thing was uh, helping my sister move out. Uh, we went going to San Francisco, just going up there. After that, went to Salvang with the family uh, and her. Yeah. Came back, San Diego, uh, vacation time with the family was what very much needed. Uh, in celebration of okay. uh, me and Stephanie's six year anniversary. So for our six year anniversary, it, it was, I think originally meant to be a shorter trip, but because I had to pick up my sister earlier that week from, you know, help her move back, we kind of pushed to the weekend. So that way, you know, it would work better in terms of us actually being able to do the things we wanted to do. So uh, yeah, it worked out um, and it became a, a week long kind of thing where we got to go to San Francisco and then we got to go to San Diego uh, in you know celebration of our six year anniversary and uh, got to go, you know, take Jordan to SeaWorld. So I'm about to say Fisherman's Wharf, but that's in San Francisco. Uh, Seaport Village, you know, uh, things that we we did in one of our earlier anniversaries, and we're trying to continue, you know, going to those things uh, every time we get to visit. Next things are, you know, continued gigs, you know, performances with uh, the companies I work with, uh, working with GEC, doing entertainment, uh, film shoot with for a gig, moving on up productions we did. We that were, that day was pretty random. Um, we were supposed to set up a street show on on the boardwalk on Venice, and uh, you know we thought we thought it was supposed to be it was going to be a staged crowd, but it turns out we actually had to be ready to do a street show, and I haven't done street shows since 2009. It was I'm going to say challenging to uh, get that going, uh, and uh, you know there was a random random uh, gimmick. At, uh, towards the end when it came to the filming part. So, and it was, you know, refreshing surprise that I didn't wasn't expecting. So, hopefully that vlog video is out too by then, uh, before I release this. Uh, you know, also doing a lot of client meetings. And during the month of what May, I went to an event called Dance Assembly, where it's just like a whole bunch of directors, advisors, you know, creative. Uh, it, all every, a lot of people involved in the dance space or dance theater space and it's the kind of the vibe I got people asking questions about you know sharing your stuff on social media got to sp speak my piece on social media and how dancers aren't taking advantage of it and there and a lot of people and I didn't I just made a point that a lot of dancers or a lot of companies you know because a lot of are still doing it like it's 1980 something 1985 and they're not marketing the way it's meant to be for this current generation <laughs> I knew if I, I want to continue building Vision Paradox, which is the name I'm officially uh, calling my social media company, 
I knew if I wanted to, <laughs> um, if I wanted to uh, take Vision Paradox to the level I want and really get more clients, I have to, you know, hustle. I actually have to put in the work and go to these events, network. I love that kind of stuff. So I used to hate it, but something clicked. But, uh, that maybe started enjoying it more. Maybe it's because I reached out when in my twenties I started going out more. So and then got to just talk to a lot of people about you know uh, social media, answered a lot of questions for them, and then set up a lot of meetings since then. So um, so just for since then it's just been uh, from May through throughout June has just been a lot of client meetings, getting to know people better with what they're trying to create and seeing for really a perfect fit and uh, yeah uh, on to June photo shoot with moving on up and antics both were early in the morning so uh, I was at that moment at that time where I was just like I enjoyed sleeping in because I was working so late uh, but it was great just to connect with everyone not have to worry about rehearsals or performing just uh, look fancy uh, look cool in these ultra epic shots uh, for me it was interesting because I don't I plan photo shoots like every, once every three, four, five years, and it was nice. To, it was kind of cool to do two photo shoots in a month and kind of, you know, feel like a model. <laughs> um, next was uh, Stephanie's graduation, massive, right. and um, it's funny because she graduated three months earlier, and you know because they hold, they have the quarter system, they don't just because they finish school doesn't mean they're necessarily done immediately. Uh, so Stephanie finished school three months ago, but she had a three-month waiting period, and the day of her graduation, she kind of didn't want to go because that sort of magic is gone. Because you know your official last day, sh the following day, should be your actual graduation. But uh, she had so much of a long wait that she was like, "No, I'm over it. I'm I'm, I'm already involved with building Nam Nam Mummy and you know her other side side other side business with Lulero. I'm glad we got to experience that with her." Uh, Jordan cried when we were walk when she was walking down the aisle. <laughs> See mommy going. <laughs> you go got her seat. She cried. He cried because he, you know, where's mom going? Why is she not with me? And then same thing walking back. He, he was he was crying, and once he saw her, you know, got to ran up to her, and it's like <laughs> he wasn't like that. He wasn't gonna let go. Um, after, after that, you know, we got to celebrate. Uh, the day before her graduation, we went to uh, one dinner, and the day of, we went to you know a family dinner. So it was just nice to eat um, insanely, you know fatty foods. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this, Stephanie, I'm really, really insanely proud of you for you going through the journey of going to school when circumstances were were beyond it. And I remember seeing you like uh, seeing you cry, and, and I just saw, looked at you and said, "Like we're we're gonna make it work, no matter what. It's gonna it's gonna happen because this is something that you're, you're insanely passionate about." And you know, uh, my goal and vision as a family that we are going to support each other no matter what and what our goals are, no matter what the circumstances are. We're going to somehow, you know, make it work. We're going to keep going for it. So I'm glad, for, I'm super proud of you for pushing through it. At the moments where you're, you know, where, where you had really crappy teachers, but you worked your butt off anyways, getting that 4.0 when you knew you deserved it. The next thing right after, this is literally one event after the other, right after Stephanie's graduation, dinner, right after that call time ready to perform uh, it was well for Walt Disney concert halls event called sleepless it was a it was a hip-hop event which is really freaking cool they had projections on the wall with graffiti art people doing uh, they had a downstairs area uh, down there there's a roller rink there's graffiti artists DJs and then upstairs you know dance floor throwing some throwback hits and there, there was actually a whole bunch of other crews that you know I wasn't expecting to see you know some people from um, Air Force crew, Universal Hip Hop, Tiffany's crew, see, ran into friends from Culture Shock, you know, uh, Donna, Arnell, really good seeing you guys if you're watching this. And, you know, with us, Antics, the, I think, I don't know what each crew did exactly, but for Antics, our thing was that we were doing street dance, you know, breaking, locking, buck, popping, I think I just said that, but um, all these styles, okay, to classical music or music that they had. <laughs> 
I enjoyed the idea of dancing in to classical music, just the part of the, me trying to listen to the music was a bit challenging, uh, but other than that it was a great experience. I got to, because I really love breaking and dancing to, to it's what I call a juxtaposition, where, where you just do one style that's meant to be danced with, you know, like break beats or hip hop, but you switch it up and you, just, you do something with a different style of music, so I love doing that. So uh, yeah, that was fun, uh, throughout, all the, throughout all the weeks as well, just Rehearsal with Antics, getting ready for our, our July show on the 8th and 9th. Uh, sneaker Suites, performing at Ivy Substation. Video, this video is probably going to be out way after. So those of you who came and watched, thanks. Those of you who are far, can't make it, appreciate your support anyways. So last thing as well is, oh, I, just, I just came back from it last night, is the Family Business End of the Year Banquet. So this is a team I helped co-found back in 2004. And it's insane seeing like so many unfamiliar faces there were that just it, I think that's just a great sign that the team's growing it's going to the right direction people want to be a part of it and, and uh, yeah it was great it's just amazing seeing how it's grown the talent level is just so much higher than it was when I first, obviously when I first started you know when I was on the team we, like, we had the elements there uh, the ideas the execution wasn't always there, the talent wasn't always there, but now it's like slowly, as, as I think as dance continues to grow in popularity, at, at least my assumption is that it's getting more popular, um, you know, more people are going to want to be involved. And uh, uh, last night was a huge transition point for a friend who helped to direct it, uh, Mark, because uh, this is going to be his last year competing, and he's transitioning it, he's passing on the torch to uh, our friend Daniel. He is so, and uh, I think I mean, I mean, I made it. It's in the other vlog, but yeah, he's a huge, you know, blessing. I'm a huge. I'm super excited for him to take the team, you know, take it from, you know, what I imagined it when I was only 16, and you know, really, really take it, you know, from here to here, you know, and uh, and I knew when I was younger this was something I wanted to pursue, you know, insanely hard. That and that I didn't care as long as it was successful. I didn't care if I was no longer a part of it. I just wanted to see it flourish. So, um, Father's Day, <laughs> uh, got to have uh, a lunch. Yeah, because uh, with Stephanie, we went to Outback. Um, it's one of our favorite places to go to. And uh, and right after that, Stephanie got to hang out with her grandpa, who was like, who's been a, a huge father figure role for her growing up. And uh, uh, and also, we decided to, <laughs> as a gift, she got us a gym membership because you know, uh, this was out. This wasn't intended either. We just saw the old uh, the old theater we used to go to. It's now a gym, and we decided to explore it because we wanted. We, we never thought it would be a gym when we were a kid. So, and then lo and behold, got us gym membership. Now I'm doing so. I'm uh, using it one for uh, the dance space, two basketball gym, which is what I've been, what I've been looking for in a gym, uh, and also the massive amount of space. So, especially in the mornings. So, you know, a, an opportunity to really support. Uh, goals in terms of performance uh that's it in terms of events uh the business you know this is going to keep straight to the point so yeah so in terms of business udemy sales are back on track okay they're not exactly you know way up there yet it's like three times less than what it was but just the growth you know it's slowly getting up which is uh you know what every business is aiming for, so it's so it, that's a huge, huge plus. Uh, Vision Paradox, like I said, getting more clients. I think got two clients this past, I think two weeks ago. One's a DJ, so so that's a new one. Uh, excited to see what uh, see what he's gonna be doing uh, and going out to some of his events to support him. Obviously, get some content because 
you know, and I have an opportunity to, an excuse to just go out with Stephanie. <laughs> and another one is a flamenco instructor, flamenco performer. So uh, most of my stuff, ha most of my clients have been hip hop or, you know, that kind of dance industry kind of stuff. So it's going to be interesting, you know, learning a little bit more about the flamenco community. Uh, dance class classes, they're staying steady. They're not the main priority of me building it. Uh, I feel like it's the only reason I went back into becoming a dance instructor is because I, I enjoyed the connection with people, whether it's one student or a, a class of 10 to 20 students. The idea for me is just I want to connect and share my knowledge with them. And I honestly enjoy small classes because I get to give so much attention to the students. And when it's big, it's hard for me to give the proper feedback for everyone to improve. So, um, you know, uh, that's that's my personal opinion and, and that's why I, the reason I, I went back into teaching I didn't necessarily have to but um, yeah they're not the main priority but I'm doing much I'm doing my best to just uh, you know just share my choreography share the classes out there but it's like that's like the, the, the bare minimum of what I'm doing I'm just sharing it I'm not doing any Facebook ads I'm not doing YouTube ads I'm not asking for Instagram shops or that kind of stuff so yeah so pretty much um, work family the more I get active in everything I'm doing the more it's like the idea of work-life balance where it stays, it stays like this it's that's you know impossible every time you're saying yes to something you're saying no to something else so it's it's more of like work-life balancing so making sure that things are taken care of so just what what one of my past videos were like it's so there's always gonna be that one or two things that really dominate it's just making sure that these certain aspects of life are just taken care of whether it's you know your finances your family your, your spirituality your business you know your social life because it's that that some people can, can tend to forget that so um yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode uh and everyone talking to me on you know instagram facebook uh youtube appreciate you guys talking uh, uh reaching out to me love conversation whether it's asking for dance feedback asking questions uh you know giving me requests for routines to dance to to teach you guys with on um people who are enjoying the the very popular active listening video thank you guys so much uh but that's it thank you guys for watching MRI tv I'll catch you guys next time peace hang out please <laughs> He's so apprehensive about it.